You ever think about how weird it is that we fuel ourselves with masticated dead plant and animal matter? Food is pretty weird, actually, when you think about it, and here are a few reasons why. Hippopotamus nearly became America's other dark meat. So let's flash back to around 1910. The United States faces a serious problem, a booming population and not enough meat to feed it. So here's one proposal, import the hippopotamus, right? Hippos could live in areas unfit for cattle, so that's good. Newspaper editorials at the time actually called them lake cows. Hippos eat less than cattle by body weight, that's also good. But despite support from no less than Teddy Roosevelt himself, the idea gave way to more efficient industrial farms and their traditional non-aggressive food animals. Yes, we might be missing out on lake cow bacon, but hippos actually kill more people in Africa every year than any other animal, believe it or not, aside from disease-carrying insects. So we don't eat hippo. The Emilia-Romagna region of northern Italy is the only place in the world that produces real Parmigiano-Reggiano. And it houses the only bank, believe it or not, that accepts this cheese as collateral. The Credito Emiliano Spa. It stores around 450,000 aging 80-pound wheels of Parmigiano-Reggiano at any given time. That stacks up to around 160 million euros worth. Accepting curd-based collateral is pretty much a valuable service to local cheese producers because they finance new milk buying and storage while their older products cure. Loans from Credem, which is the bank, can reach 80% of the cheese's market value. That's one cheesy loan. It was 1919, and molasses, which is the sticky, sweet, liquid sweetener produced from sugarcane, was in high demand as an ingredient in alcohol manufacturing due to impending prohibition laws. It's big stuff. People wanted to brew all the booze they could before the legislation passed, and that was a lot of booze, trust me. It just so happened that a giant molasses storage tank had been constructed in Boston back in 1916. This particular tank had been constructed hastily, to say the least. Modern researchers will say that its steel walls were at least 50% too thin to hold its full capacity and contained enough manganese to make it likely to crack, and that's exactly what happened. When incoming shipments filled the tank in January 1919, the structure collapsed completely, spilling 2.3 million gallons of molasses onto the streets. Sounds kind of funny, but it was actually deadly. A 25-foot wave destroyed two city blocks within seconds, crushing and suffocating 21 victims stuck in the mass. Oy. There is a serious black market for maple syrup, people, believe it or not. In the summer of 2012, the Global Strategic Maple Syrup Reserve in Canada discovered the robbery of some 60% of its stock. That's about 6 million pounds of syrup and about 18 million Canadian dollars wholesale at the time. It's a lot of dough. Good quality maple syrup goes for about 13 times the price of crude oil per barrel, believe it or not. And according to police documents, an elaborate criminal ring convened to steal, ship, and store, and sell the syrup surreptitiously. As of fall 2014, 26 people had been arrested, but only a quarter of the syrup and none of the money from its sale had been recovered. So tell me, what's your favorite weird food? Let us know in the comments below. And hey, give us a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe so you won't have to miss the next one. And to learn a lot more weird facts, check out 10 Weird But True Food Facts on HowStuffWorks.com.